So, I am not a fan of bugs. Uh, one of the things that uh, I don't, don't really dig when I go camping is having bugs land on me while I sleep. So, I like tarp camping, uh, but when you tarp camp, uh, you have to take some sort of measures uh, to keep the bugs off you, specifically while you sleep. I don't want mosquitoes landing on my face and spiders crawling on me while I sleep. Uh, so, I discovered this, uh, basically a mesh bivy online. Uh, the brand name is Runzer. Um, anyway, it, it's just basically a pop-up bivy, and I've used it, uh, oh, a little less than a handful of times, uh, to cowboy camp outside, uh, because it, the top of it is mesh, and so I have this shot like this set up so you can kind of see how that works. And I'll throw a tarp over it in a second just to show you how I sleep, sleep under a tarp with it. Uh, but it's proved to be really handy, and I've noticed that here on YouTube, uh, there's not really many videos about this uh, particular product. And uh, since it's proven handy to me, I thought I'd do a quick review on it. Uh, so here you can see it's set down, uh, set up uh, like I'd be sleeping on it. I put a ground tarp down. Uh, it's just Tyvek right there. Uh, and I put the stake down the bivy in a couple of places, uh, each of the four corners, and then uh, at the foot I'll show you here pretty soon. There's a, another way to stake down uh, to keep the, the, the bottom in where your feet go uh, from flopping around. Uh, I have other bivvies, but I prefer this one because of the ventilation. Uh, how, how I often, when I tarp camp, I usually, most of the time, I do a uh, plow point or an A-frame, and that's what you're looking at here, and this little tarp uh, goes under, under here really well. Um, it's mostly low profile. Um, the height of it at its, at its height is about 27-ish inches tall, 27, 28 inches there at the top above the, the head. Um, so the tarp has to be that high up. So if it's a storm, I, of course, I will lower it back down. Um, but it, it's got plenty of room not, not to get rained on. It has a bathtub floor, basically. Um, it's really light, I guess, uh, nylon. Uh, and then the mesh here. Now the one I'm showing you has a zipper on one side. This is the one I, I started with and I kind of used the most um, with a zipper on one side. And the zipper comes down to basically around uh, just under my knees if I were laying inside of it. Um, anyway, I kind of want to show you how I uh, kind of can just uh, crawl in and tuck my feet in and, and, and sit down on it. As you watch me uh, oh so gracefully uh, scooch myself into this, uh, I want to point out one of the things I like about this a lot is, first of all, it, it, when you sit on it, it flattens down. Uh, because the material that holds it up is super flexible, um, it can flop around a lot. So see, I'm not being super gentle with it. Now, naturally, <laughs> I would take my shoes off if I were actually camping for the night. Um, but here's a, a look at the inside it's very spacious and what I like is it doesn't it doesn't lay on my legs it, uh, even with a sleeping bag in there it, it there's some space so here you can see the, uh, the zipper opening on one side uh, I put a little pull tab uh, paracord on there so I could kind of tell what was happening uh, and then getting out you just throw your legs out and flop yourself up in fact one of the advantages of this particular bivy is its circulation and flexibility. It's not constrictive, uh, which is one of the things that, that helps me sleep. Uh, right here you can see the uh, the little, at the end the guy line comes out from the top of the, the foot box and I put a little piece of shock cord in there and an adjustable line. And basically uh, it just keeps it basically uh, upright. And now you can hook this up or down uh, depending on if you have a tree you know, with the foot right there. Now, the only trouble with a zipper being on a single side is you have to be careful where you place your head, and it, it kind of reduces the flexibility. But last year, Runzer came out with a double zip model, so I, I purchased that, and uh, I've had a, a lot of good experiences with it as well. It, it, it has a little bit more flexibility. You can see they're comparable in size, and I'll put the size measurements below in the description so you can see. Um, the, the two the double zip one is uh, 
um, not quite as wide, but a little bit longer um, than, than the single zip one. And uh, I, I'm going to show you kind of how it, it, how it zips from the top. Uh, as you can see right here in this horrible footage, uh, <laughs> the sun was glaring on my phone screen and I didn't realize how out of frame I was. Um, but the top of the double zip is covered. It's not mesh straight above your head, and you can't see out the back of it. Um, on the other hand, the double zip, uh, the zipper's falling basically to your knees on both sides, uh, makes getting in and out of it a lot easier, and it offers a lot more flexibility on how you're going to set it up under a tarp. Uh, I think I have some footage here of me actually waking up in the morning and getting up out of this particular model. And uh, here's a quick look at the uh, the whole bivy kind of uh, in action uh, with uh, sleeping stuff in it, pad, sleeping bag, uh, pillow, and all that. Now, when it comes time to fold it up, this is the, the kind of the tricky part. Either one of these, double zip or single zip, you got to kind of uh, uh, <laughs> get used to how to do it. Um, basically, you you hug the uh, the top of it, the sides to you, and then it's kind of fold it in a circle. Uh, I'll demonstrate right here. Now, uh, here's a shot of uh, both of the bottles in their their stuff sacks, so to speak. Uh, the one on the right is the double zip. As you can see, it's about an inch bigger in diameter. And if you notice, the handles are broken. I broke them actually making this video. In fact, later on, I had to go back and hand sew them. Uh, and stitch them back in uh, to kind of reinforce them. And that's ba basically the biggest complaint about this is actually the bag that these these bivvies come in. That it uh, it's not super sturdy, um, and the the handles easily pull out if you don't uh, you know kind of help modify them off the bat. As far as portability, both are really portable. Uh, the one zip one, of course, is thinner. Um, it's not as thick as you can see a, a comparison of the two. Uh, the two zip one is just it's more fabric and, it, and somehow it's it's thicker um, but they both fit in the backpack really well um, that's the reason I got them is because they they pop up and they they break down the you just slide in the back of my backpack uh, I got both of mine on Amazon uh, I'm not affiliated with this company in any way whatsoever uh, but I will put an affiliate link below uh, in case you want to check it out they've uh, gone up in price over the last two years since I originally got mine I got mine originally for $40 and then $48 for the two zip and now they're up to 65 and $68 on Amazon uh, I don't know just uh, be aware of that hey if you end up getting one of these bivvies uh, leave a comment for me uh, I just uh, I wanted to put it up here because it's been useful for me in uh, over the last couple of years of tarp camping and uh, I didn't see a lot of videos on YouTube about them so uh, that's it uh, the Runzer pop-up mesh bug bivvy thanks for watching